Welcome back guys to another Zero DTE video and today Ernie's going to be talking about exit strategy so make sure you stay tuned. If you're interested in becoming a pro trader check out the link in the description where you can find Ernie's education platform. Enjoy guys. You're essentially trying to create this zone around your entry from where you are to getting out. It doesn't have to be on both sides because it rarely goes on the other side. Let's just say from where you are to getting out. And it's all based on what your maximum profit has been and what time of day it is and where you are relative to the strategy. So all of those things are important. And the reason why it's based on where you are relative to the strategy is because you're still dealing with a PL curve that has some slope. So when that slope is steep, your tolerance zone shrinks. When that slope is flat, your tolerance zone expands. It also shrinks and expands based on what time you're in. In early part of the day, it's wider. As you get near the end of the day, it's narrower. So you have two conflating things though that are causing you to come up with this sort of trailing stop. And uh, admittedly, it is dynamic. But what you need to do is you need to look at it and you have to set in your mind where it is at any point in time. So you look at it and you say, okay, it's 11 o'clock. I've got $200 of profit. At 11 o'clock, I'm typically willing to give up 50%. So if it goes down to 100, I get out. If it's two o'clock, it's no longer 50%. Maybe it's 30 or 20%. There are other things that we can use too to help us make those decisions. Because let's say that you say, okay, it's 50% or let's say it's 30%. I'm up $200. It means I can give up $60. I get down to 140. But right at 140, there's a structural line right there, right behind it, that if you went down to 130, you'd hit the structural line. That might be enough for you to override your 30% hard line because that structural element there is providing support. And I understand you're dealing with three different dimensions. You're dealing with time of day. You're dealing with position of the strategy and the profit line, you're dealing with underlying structural elements. You're dealing with all that. And your analysis of that is giving you the best case scenario for you to hold or fold. I'm not saying it's easy. Over time, it becomes easier and easier to make those decisions. But it's still elementary as long as you understand what you're dealing with, why you're looking at that tolerant zone and why it's that wide, because it's either early in the day or late in the day, or because you're in the profit tent or you're out of the profit tent or it's low volatility and you have high gamma or it's high volatility and you have low gamma or there's an underlying market structure that is providing support or there isn't any or you've exceeded that support or jumped over it and now you're in a big volume and so the, the odds are greater that you might not stay with that position. All these things, each individual element by itself, now they have to all come together and you should be able to look at it and instantly make a determination. I'm going to hold here or no, it's getting too risky. I'm going to get out. Now, I know I, I just made it maybe in your mind ultra complex, but once you start understanding the dynamics of options, the dynamics of this trade, the underlying market structure, the time of day, the volatility, those are the things that we're studying all the time. It, it's no different really when you consider you're driving a car. The simple act of turning the wheel and taking a right-hand turn and avoiding traffic and the person on the corner and all those, those other things is probably more complex but you do it anyways and you do it with depth precision thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button below if there's any questions that you might have for coach journey make sure you leave them in the comment section thanks guys